Well, how do there, chums? Tis I, Captain of the Steves, and today, chums, for you guys in the Viewerverse, I'm going to be talking about No Man's Sky and why I think 2024 does stand a chance of being a big year for No Man's Sky and all those reasons as to why I think we should be slightly excited for the year of 2024, people. So let's jump on over and let's get into it, shall we? I guess let's hop on over to the Tinter Webs. Because Sean of the Murrays, during Singularity, dropped a little mini hint of what's to come. So he actually said it's part two of a four part arc, and he was referring to a Singularity. Now, what did Singularity bring into the verse? Well, let's go and hit on up the trailer and just remind ourselves of the Singularity updates. So here we go, let's hit play on this. So. The Singularity update brought in these live drafts, which is that sort of purple weird ball you can see floating about in space. And along with that, a load of new lore. And we had to build our own autophage up inside of the spatial anomaly. And he just at the moment gives hints about the Crimson or the Atlantid and sort of picking a side, either the Void Mother or the Atlas in a roundabout way. And these life rafts gave off a shed load of lore and hinted that there was hidden camps within inside of our verse. And sure enough, we came across hidden sort of oddness inside the verse and a new substance called Atlantium. Yes, of the Atlantids. Yep, but we didn't actually come across actual Atlantids apart from building our own self as a construct. You see in the background there, giant colossal archive. I honestly think that they've put this in the trailer for a reason. The colossal archives are quite new structures to No Man's Sky, but at the moment they don't really have too much rhyme or reason. And we'll jump into the next trailer in a minute, the Echoes trailer, and see if we see an echo of that inside of that trailer. But these sorts of life rafts, yes, we can destroy them. Yes, we can get lore from them. And yes, we can now dress as this sort of Atlantid sort of construct. But other than that, what else came into the verse in 2023 that we can draw reference to? So what else did 2023 bring into verse? Well, it brought in the Echoes update, which was quite a large update, perhaps the heftiest update of the last couple of years. And alongside of that, it brought in Wonders projectors. So now we can put up our Wonders that we find and the Wonders catalogue starts to make a bit more sense and rhyme and reason. There's also quite a lot within inside of the Wonders Discoveries area page that isn't actually there as yet. The number is far higher than what we can find. So I think we're going to get a lot more added in when it comes to exploration and discovery for our wonders catalog and our wonders projectors so i can't wait to see what that brings in if anything i mean yes i could be clutching at straws but at the same time it's a bit strange we also got these giant pirate dreadnoughts brought into the verse now inside of the weekend story lore ariadne went missing aboard a dark freighter is this that dark freighter or is there something even larger than these dreadnoughts out there somewhere inside of the void or the realm of glass which is another thing that's been hinted at quite a lot so the void mother obviously comes from the void and there's talk of the realm of glass in quite a lot of the sentinel pillars lore and we see the sentinel pillars and also the sentinels inside of this little echoes trailer so i think it could be a nod towards perhaps seeing the realm of glass or even the void mother coming into play people and towel end of 2023, Sean of the Murrays played this trailer that you're seeing in the background behind me right now of this new ship stationed having a full overhaul interior and exterior and the exteriors now kind of match up to the look of those colossal archives down on planet which makes me think there might be some sort of symbiosis or some sort of link between the stations and also the planetary archives the things that we find on planets is it going to be auto beamed up to here now is that delivery rocket that we got previously going to make a bit more sense with the whole relationship of planetary exploration the colossal archives and the stations are they all going to be married up there's also the fact that this ship looks like it might be something to do with racing the first thing i saw when i saw this ship of or came to mind was wipeout 2077 are we going to get the racing initiators placed into game i've done a whole speculation video on is racing coming to game i'll put a link over there but at the same time the actual decals on this ship match the decals on the exterior of the station are these ships going to be randomly generated per station so when you put in a station override in the station are you going to get offered up this errored ship 
that might actually get traits from the actual station here. You can see here that this ship looks like it belongs to this station. It carries over some of the same decals. It almost looks like it's got the same configuration. So are we going to be hunting down really cool stations to find these really cool racing type looking ships? Could that play a new dimension into the game? Perhaps it might, perhaps it won't. I really don't know. But at the end here, you see that little sort of like um, life raft again you see the big sentinel dreadnought is that a hint that they're going to be expanding on that i think it might be i think there's a chance that that might be are we going to see part four of that arg arc i'm hoping that we do and since it is the last part of that arc i think it's going to be something special i mean you don't just end off a three part four part arc with nothing do you You want to close that off with a proper ending a crescendo so i'm hoping that the year 2024 just as sean murray has said in his own words that it's going to be a big year and when i say sean murray said in his own words take a look at what he said at the game awards in 2023 well to start with uh, next year is going to be a really big year for No Man's Sky. Like you said, I've been working on it for 10 years now, and I still really love it, still really enjoy it. Okay, so there we go, people. That's everything that I've got for you. So I do think this year is going to be a big year for No Man's Sky, mainly because Sean of the Murrays at the Game Awards also announced another game called Light No Fire. It's the new game that they're working on inside their studio. They've split their team pretty much in half. Half are working on Light No Fire, half are working on No Man's Sky. And I honestly think that on No Man's Sky, rather than adding actual proper content then we're going to see a lot of cosmetic overhauls would be my thoughts and feelings the reason i say that is it's now on nintendo switch it's now still supported by last gen consoles like ps4 and the old xbox and so forth and so on i think when it comes to content and bringing in any more procedural greatness it's kind of at where we can get to thanks to the weakest links inside of its genre and platform base so i don't think we're going to see a massive like bottoming out of every single aspect of no man's sky i think they will add some depth in certain areas but i think they've got to be very careful now between getting it optimized and getting it fleshed out as what we would say is a completed product i think when it comes to being a completed product all they're going to do is end in end game content because the reason i say that is echoes to trigger echoes you had to do the purge you had to find an echo camp there was a few prerequisites to get in that end game content to actually spawn on in so yeah and traces of metal so I think we're going to have that prerequisite still on the last part of this arc. I think it is very much end game narrative. So the Void Mother might bring in some more challenges. It might bring in a little bit more depth, but I don't think it's going to be complex depth. I don't think it's going to be procedural. I don't think we're going to see the likes of the Super Formula. I don't think we're going to see some of that variation that we're seeing inside of Light No Fire. A lot of people are saying, well, if they can do it on Light No Fire, surely they can put some of that greatness into a No Man's Sky. I think they could if they didn't have last gen to think about PS4, Xbox. I honestly think they've pushed those platforms to their limits. Oh, and Switch. So I honestly don't think we're going to see any more procedural greatness coming into game. Maybe if it's something a little bit like, you know, the derelict freighters with the randomly generated sort of dungeons. That's why I mentioned the dark freighter. Are we going to go rescue Ariadne? That is something I think they can do just sort of add upon what we've already had with derelict freighters, but make it to the interior of this giant freighter. You know, the, the, realm, the realm of glass and the void, what are they exactly? We've still got that sort of conundrum going on because we've seen the living ships. We've seen these leviathans that come from the void. I mean, you hatch the void ship or the living ship from a void egg. So that's obviously more organic. But what we're seeing from the realm of glass or wherever this void mother has come from, She's brought autophages, which have this metallic shell. They're very different to what I expected them to be. I honestly thought we were going to get some sort of organic robotic hybrid type looking thing. Perhaps with purple crystals jutting out of it. But no, we've got these sort of robots, and that could be to do with the age certificate rating. I'm really not overly sure. But anyway, people, that's everything that I've got for you. I honestly think 2024 is going to be an exciting year because, like I say, if they're adding in end game content and adding in this end part to this ARG, 
It's got to be something awesome, hasn't it? You, you, that's what it says to me anyway. You don't make like a four-part art to just get at the end, you know? And then again, saying that, that's exactly what happened with Game of Thrones. It was epic. And then the ending was like... <laughs> Please don't do that to us, Hello Games. Yes, don't do a, don't do a Game of Thrones. Don't do a Lost on us. But yeah, there we go, people. That's everything. Until next time, I'm going to go drink my tea. Goodbye, goodbye. And goodbye again. Oh, and I want to hear your comments. Put them in the comments area. Cheers. Bye-bye.